Here's a look at Google Android 1.6 for the Creative Z-Egg. This is their first initial version of Android for the Z-Egg. Uh, so it is, still is extremely rough and more of a proof of concept than anything. Although m many of the functions still are are up and running. Um, but you can see you have your basic Android elements um, such as your app bar there. Um, your notifications up top and then your three side screens there now let's jump into um, you have your basic photo gallery typical to that Android and it is responding to the accelerometer okay Um, they map the back button to the camera button. I don't know if that's going to change, but it is a little bit awkward. Um, and the menu button brings up settings uh, for each of the different applications. doesn't really take you home like the Plasma did. Now, Google Marketplace wasn't up and running on this, um, but I was able to install and App Store. So applications can be installed and the, from the few applications I did install they they are running okay. Um, but there's no no Google Maps or anything like that on here. Um, browser browser seems to be working pretty well. Um, and now because this is 1.6 you don't have the multi-touch yet so don't expect multi-touch on this until 2.0 um, so you do have these and as it's starting to slow down I notice as as you use it in this version of firmware, it starts really starts to slow down, so it is still very buggy. Um, okay, so here is, it's also a Twitter client I was able to install through that and App Store. And it seems to, all the applications seems to be, seem to be running pretty nice. I haven't had too many problems, but overall it's not really something you want to use. Still developer edition and pretty much just a proof of concept. So definitely looking forward to 2.0 and more targeted versions of Android for the Z-Egg.